Hey everyone, let's learn how the human digestive system works. The gastrointestinal tract, commonly known as the digestive system, is an incredible network in our body that processes the food we eat into energy and nutrients. But how does it all work, from that first bite to the final step? The gastrointestinal tract is a continuous, muscular tube running through the body, starting at the mouth and ending at the anus. It's often divided into two main sections, upper GI, which includes the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and the beginning of the small intestine. Lower GI, consisting of the rest of the small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. Essential functions these organs perform are ingestion, propulsion, digestion, absorption, and elimination. Let's now explore each part in detail. Digestion begins in the mouth where food is mechanically broken down by chewing and mixed with saliva. Saliva contains enzymes like amylase, which starts breaking down carbohydrates. The tongue helps form the food into a bolus, which is swallowed into the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach through a process called peristalsis. Wave-like muscle contractions push the bolus down toward the stomach. At the lower end of the esophagus is the lower esophageal sphincter a valve that prevents stomach contents from flowing back up. The stomach is a muscular, J-shaped organ that serves as a mixing and storage chamber which has three parts. It secretes gastric juices containing hydrochloric acid and pepsin which help in breaking down proteins and kills pathogens. The stomach turns the food into a semi-liquid form called chyme, which is then slowly released into the small intestine through the pyloric sphincter. The small intestine is about 6 meters long and is divided into three parts, the duodenum, where most chemical digestion occurs. It receives bile from the liver and pancreatic enzymes that break down fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, the jejunum, where most nutrient absorption takes place in the ileum, which absorbs vitamin B12, bile salts, and other nutrients. The walls of the small intestine are lined with tiny, finger-like projections called villi which increase the surface area for absorption. Next is the large intestine, about 1.5 meters long. It consists of cecum, colon, rectum, and anus, where waste is stored and eventually excreted. It is responsible for absorbing water, electrolytes, and vitamins like vitamin K. It also houses trillions of beneficial bacteria that produce short-chain fatty acids, synthesize vitamins, and protect against harmful pathogens. And there you have it, a complete journey through the gastrointestinal tract. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more in-depth videos on health and nutrition.